This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Today, I'm gonna show you five tips for editing vertical videos in Final Cut Pro. Tip number one, when you are converting a horizontal video over to a vertical video format, it's actually extremely easy in Final Cut Pro. With your library open, go ahead and locate the project that you wanna convert over. Right click and select Duplicate Project As. Here we could rename it to something like vertical. Then under the format settings, we're gonna change it from 1080p over to vertical. This is gonna give us some vertical resolutions here, which we can go ahead and change over to 1080p. But then you'll notice this little checkbox that popped up, and that is the smart conform checkbox. By checking that, Final Cut Pro is going to automatically analyze all of the footage, and it's going to try and position each shot so that your subject matter is directly in the center. So now we can go ahead and push OK. If you look at these you can actually see how Final Cut Pro has shifted them so that the subject matter is in the center. By looking at this we can see the position is at negative 410 and it did that automatically for me saving me a lot of time. Now tip number two is really helpful when you're building a TikTok short or reel from scratch. So when you apply all of your footage on the timeline you'll see how it's scaled down the 16 by 9 footage onto this 9 by 16 timeline. Now you could definitely select all of your footage and scale it up to fill the frame but that pushes it to this 330%, it's not really easy to work with. So what I prefer to do is actually change the spatial conform. Scrolling to the very bottom of this, you can find the spatial conform option, and currently it's set to fit. Let's go ahead and set that over to fill. And now all of these shots are going to be scaled up perfectly so that they fill the frame. When you're working with graphics from a 16 by nine template, it can actually cause some problems in Final Cut Pro on a nine by 16. So if we go over into our titles, and let's say I wanna add in this little subscribe animation. If I drag that on, you're not even gonna see the animation because that animation is playing out somewhere over here in the ether. So to fix that, you're gonna need Apple Motion. If you right click, you can select Open in Motion. Once this opens in motion, go ahead and select your project, go to the inspector and select the snapshots tab. Now from here, go to the left side and click this add button and you can see we can create these different snapshots for different aspect ratios. So I'll select nine by 16. Then I'm gonna select the nine by 16 format and you'll see how that adjusts everything into this vertical format. Now we're just gonna press edit snapshot. That's gonna create this dialogue window which is letting us know that we're now in edit mode. Any changes we make in this mode is going to apply to the new snapshot. So if we select our group and click and drag it over so that it's nicely centered, just like so, we can now click stop rig edit mode. From there, we'll push command S and now we can jump on over into Final Cut Pro. Now, if we drag this template down onto our vertical video, it's going to auto conform that template to the 16 by nine aspect ratio. This is also gonna work if you use the smart conform feature from tip number one. Now that I've applied this graphic, I wanna make sure that it's not getting in the way of any of the UI in one of the platforms from like YouTube Shorts, TikToks, or Reels. So there's a really easy way to check this. If we go on up to view and then select choose custom overlay, we can add a custom overlay. I'm gonna select this YouTube Shorts UI. I'm gonna try and have a link down below for you to download this, but it's just for the YouTube Shorts. And we'll go ahead and push open. And I will replace it because I've done this before. Now, if we go up to view, we can select choose custom overlay. And if we look, we can actually see the overlay happening over the top of our video. So this is giving us a really good idea of if our graphics are actually clashing with those elements. But what's also really great about this method is instead of bringing in a PNG file or something onto the timeline, we don't need to disable it when we go to export. It's just not gonna show up in the final render. Oftentimes you need to design your videos so that they loop and there's a really easy way to enable that in Final Cut Pro. All you need to do is push Command L and you'll notice that around the play button turns into this arrow that's going around in circles. So now if I push play, you'll notice that the video is going to automatically loop every time it plays through. If you need to disable it, you can also push Command L once again and it'll no longer loop. I know this video was only five tips, but I have one extra tip just for those of you who decided to stick around and that is to pick up Envato Elements. Now, before you click off this video, Envato Elements has a huge library of vertical content for you. It will make your TikToks, your reels, and your shorts really, really pop off the screen. I'm just gonna look up vertical. Now, I'll just scroll down and go into their video templates and then I'm just gonna select Final Cut Pro here on the left side. 
inside. Now, each one of these is an entire pack. So if I scroll through, you're gonna see these massive packs of amazing looking elements for your vertical content. There is so much to draw from, and once you bring them into Final Cut Pro, you can change all your text, your fonts, your colors, everything you need to do to get your branding on point. And not only do they have these video templates, but they also have a massive library of stock videos, stock photos, music, sound effects, web templates, pretty much everything you can think of in Vital Elements has, and that is why it's one of my number one most recommended assets for you to pick up as a creator. So with that being said, use the link down below to get 50% off the annual plan, which is an insane deal because there's just so much value packed into this service. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.